and as you can see the balls ride up on a ramp and then they go up against the diaphragm spring so all the balls are in there they don't need to be lubricated it's in a hard anodized uh, pressure plate you want to drop in your diaphragm spring and then the diaphragm spring collar has a bevel on one side that goes against the diaphragm spring and then it's as easy as just finding four of the bolts for it to line up in and get it started then again get all four of them started before you start tightening it up you just run them in by hand they got a little knurl on them it makes it pretty easy And what we'll do, we'll run them in, get them pulled up, and then we'll tighten them up after the belt's on. I like to put the clutch in like this because it just makes it to where everything moves around freely and you can see that you got everything assembled properly. Okay, now what we want to do is want to come back. Now is when you want to tighten up your fasteners that hold the pressure plate in place. And then we're also going to adjust our clutch. What you want to do is you want to take your clutch and back this allen up a little bit until your until your clutch is backed off we want to take and we want to loosen our clutch cable loosen up here run it all the way down until all your slop is out then you take this cape this push rod adjustment and you want to run your adjustment in and then you want to back it out a half a turn and lock down this nut. When your clutch is adjusted properly, you should be able to grab your clutch hub. You should be able to spin it freely. If you can't do this, you need to start over with your clutch adjustment because you got something wrong. If you can't just pull it in and spin it around, it's not going to disengage. Last but not least, you want to take your starter ring gear cover. It's going to go on. Get all your fasteners in place. Just run them in, get them started. Everything will line right up. We're going to install our little cover on the outside, the little dome cover. You got five little fasteners. Get them all five started again. Get all your uh, fingerprints off. Wipe down your work. Turn the key on. Everything seems to work. Looks like uh, if your belt drive ends up looking like this belt drive, you've done it all right. Everything is correct, all the fasteners are tightened, you're ready for a test ride.